In this video, we're going to learn about static functions in C. So by default in C, functions are global in the sense that a function that's defined in one file can be used in another file. So for example, in lib.c here, we could define a simple function. The function is going to output hello, followed by a new line. We'll include the stdio.h library so that way we can use printf here and we'll save this as lib.c. Now in d.c, if we have a declaration for func, we can use func. So here we could call func in our main function. Then if we compile these files and run the program, it's going to work. So the d.c file can access a function that's been defined in the lib.c file the static keyword can be used to limit the visibility or the scope of a function to a particular file, or more accurately, to a particular translation unit. So if we use the static keyword, the function would not be accessible in d.c. So in lib.c here, we could say static void func. And if we save this and now try to compile our program, we're going to get an error here. And the error essentially says that func is an undefined symbol because it can't be accessed in d.c anymore. So why would we want to use static functions? The biggest reason is that we could restrict access to a function to the file where it is defined. This might be done in order to better achieve what's called information hiding. So a software component can be any unit of software. In an object-oriented language like C++, a class could be a component, and in C, a library would be a component. Information hiding is when we create software components that expose a stable interface that is unlikely to change to the rest of the program. So maybe a set of functions that the rest of the program can call. But information hiding also involves hiding other aspects of how the component is implemented from being accessed by the rest of the program. So that way these aspects of the component can be changed without it impacting the rest of the program. In many object-oriented languages like C++, we can use private member functions that can only be used within a particular class. We often use private member functions to achieve information hiding. Static functions in C allow us to achieve a very similar thing. We can choose to expose a globally available interface while limiting access to some functions to a particular library. So let's go over an example of using the static keyword to achieve information hiding with a library in C. In lib.h here, we're going to define our public interface for this library. We'll have a function report value that's going to accept a double value as an argument. Then in lib.c here, we're going to create two functions. One is going to be a static function that's going to be used internally by this library. We'll have static void print double value. The print function is going to actually output the value it's a static function that's going to be used by the report value function. So we'll have printf and percent dot three f backslash n value. Then we'll create a report value function that's going to use this print function. So we'll have void report underscore value double value. And this function is going to do some validation of the value before using the print function to output the value. So if the value is greater than or equal to 1000, we're going to output that the value is out of range. So we'll have printf value out of range, exclamation mark, backslash n. Otherwise, we're going to call the print function to output the value. So now this report value function is going to be globally visible, but this print function is only going to be visible within this lib.c file. We can save this and now in d.c, we can include lib.h. And we'll try to use this report value function. So here we'll have report underscore value, and we'll call it with 10.3333. And we can save this. And now if we compile our program and run it, then we get 10.333 here. And the big idea here is that we can now change the print function without it breaking the rest of the program because we know that the rest of the program is only going to rely on our globally available interface. 
we know that the rest of the program can't use the print function because it's a static function. So for example, in lib.c here, we could now have another parameter. We could have int times, and we could output the value this number of times. So we'll have for int i is equal to zero, i is less than times, i plus plus. And now we're going to output the value this many times. Now in our report value function, we could use this function differently. We'll have maybe three here. As the second argument, to print out the value three times. We could save this, compile our program, and run it. And now we get 10.333 three times. So we can change the print function, and we know that the rest of the program is not going to break. If the print function was used all over our source code, we might have to make changes all over our source code to reflect this new number of parameters. But by using the static keyword to limit the visibility of the print function to this one file, we've guaranteed that that's not the case. We know that the impact of the change is going to be limited to this file. At the same time, we've chosen to expose a particular stable interface that presumably is not going to change as much to the outside world. And that interface is going to be this report value function. And that's the big reason why we use static functions Another reason why we might want to use static functions is that it would allow us to reuse function names across different files because the visibility or the scope of each function would be limited to each file. So for example, we could copy this here and we'll paste it into our d.c file and we'll change the function a little bit. We'll have four decimal digits of precision instead of three. Then down here, we could use print. We could have print 10.3333 with three here as an argument. Now, if we save, compile, and run this program, we're going to get 10.333 three times, followed by 10.3333 three times. So this second set of values here is being output using this print function here that's defined inside d.c. This first set of values here is being output using the report value function, which is using the print function that's defined inside lib.c. So we have two functions with the same name that are both being used in our program. If we didn't use the static keyword though, we would have a problem. So we'll delete the static keyword here and save this file. And then over here, we'll also delete the static keyword and save this file. Now, if we try to recompile our program, we'll get an error. The error says duplicate symbol print. So now we have two functions called print that both have the same visibility, the same scope, and we get a compiler error as a result. So we can also use the static keyword to reuse function names across different files. So this is how static functions work in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers including courses to help you develop C programming projects.